It's easy to assume that every construction project is a success, but nothing could be further from the truth. In fact, some of the world's most iconic buildings have been marred by costly and embarrassing mistakes. From towers that make you turn your head to the most devastating and deadly disasters imaginable, here are the top 10 construction fails in history. Before we get started, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to be notified when we post more amazing videos like this in the future. And here we go. Let's direct our focus to our number 10 on the list, the iconic Leaning Tower of Pisa. This iconic Italian structure, or shall we call it Pisa's perpetually tipsy tower, is a marvel not for its perfect geometry, but rather for its flaw. The architect certainly didn't plan for a giant Jenga game waiting to tumble. This peculiar inclination is thanks to a major construction oversight, as the tower was built on a weak foundation in soft ground, which was unable to bear the structure's weight. The result? A serious case of architectural vertigo that continues to charm and bemuse visitors to this day. Moving on from Italy's tipsy tower, let's head to Boston, Massachusetts. At number 9, we have the John Hancock Tower, a skyscraper that made its mark in an unexpected way. This 790-foot glass behemoth played a game of window rain when 500-pound glass panes detached and fell to the city streets below. The architects used blue-tinted reflective glass for the entire facade, but thermal stress and wind resistance had other plans. The building, while aesthetically pleasing, turned into a real-life game of dodge the glass pane. Leaving the glass rain of Boston, let's wander across the pond to jolly old London. Docking at number 8, we encounter the Millennium Bridge, a.k.a. the Wobbly Bridge. Now, you might think, a bridge that wobbles? That's a fun feature, right? Not quite. This steel suspension footbridge over the River Thames opened in June 2000 and was swiftly closed within days. Well, it appears the engineers might have missed a lesson in synchronous lateral excitation, fancy speak, for it wobbled a lot when people walked on it. Yes, the architects didn't account for the positive feedback phenomenon, where the wobble caused by people's footsteps caused more wobble, which caused more footsteps to wobble until, well, you get the picture. Not exactly the kind of wave Londoners were hoping for from their new bridge. Leaving London behind, let's swing over to Cambridge, Massachusetts, the land of tech geniuses and innovation. Here we find the Ray and Maria Stata Center at MIT, our number seven blunder. Designed by renowned architect Frank Gehry, this deconstructed marvel resembles a crumbled paper model more than a traditional MIT building. Despite its awe-inspiring and unconventional shapes, gravity soon made its presence known. Leaks, mold, cracks, and even a 2,000-pound piece of masonry falling off became the cherries on top of this problematic Sunday. The Stata Center, while an architectural head-turner, serves as an educational reminder of the consequences when pushing construction boundaries too far. Moving away from the architectural teaching tool at MIT, let's leap to the Orient. At number six, we have a jaw-dropping story, the Lotus Riverside Complex in Shanghai. This residential complex was supposed to epitomize urban luxury living until one of its buildings decided to lay down flat. A 13-story building collapsed onto its side. The cause? Poor construction decisions. The building's unstable foundation piles and the decision to dig a garage underneath proved to be disastrous. Excavated soil piled nearby caused a landslide, taking the building with it. The Lotus Riverside Complex is a stark reminder that gravity can't be ignored in construction. After the Lotus Riverside Complex, we return to the bustling New York City. At number five on our list of architectural misadventures is the Citigroup Center. This 59-story skyscraper features a distinctive 45-degree angled top and nine-story stilts at the base, making it a standout addition to the Manhattan skyline. However, this innovative design almost led to a catastrophic disaster. The original plan overlooked quartering winds, which strike the building at its corners. A student architect discovered this flaw, leading to a secret repair operation. Over 200 bolted joints were replaced with welded ones, preventing a potential collapse and widespread destruction. Today, the Citigroup Center stands tall, reminding us of the importance of considering Mother Nature in architectural design. Let's head to Kansas City, Missouri. At number four, we uncover a chilling tale, the Hyatt Regency Hotel walkway collapse. This tragic incident resulted in one of the deadliest structural failures in U.S. history. 
The hotel featured a multi-story atrium with three suspended walkways. Originally, the walkways were meant to be suspended from the same rod, but during construction, separate rods were used for each walkway. This change doubled the load on the connector rods of the fourth floor walkway, causing it to collapse onto the second floor walkway during a tea dance in July 1981. The collapse resulted in the tragic loss of 114 lives. The Hyatt Regency Hotel walkway serves as a grim reminder of the catastrophic consequences of mishandling critical calculations and design modifications in construction. Moving on from the tragic Hyatt Regency Hotel walkway, we arrive at the Kemper Arena in Kansas City, Missouri, which takes the third spot on our list. Completed in 1974, this multi-purpose indoor arena gained recognition for its innovative clear-span roof, supported by exterior steel trusses. However, in 1979, a severe storm caused the roof to collapse due to the accumulation of rainwater. This incident serves as a valuable lesson in architectural design, highlighting the importance of basic principles like proper drainage. Innovation is commendable, but neglecting fundamental aspects can lead to catastrophic consequences. Buckle up, folks, as we pass the roofless Kemper Arena and get ready to cross into shaky territory. At number two, we have the notorious Silver Bridge, an I-bar chain suspension bridge that once connected Point Pleasant, West Virginia, to Gallipolis, Ohio. However, it is now remembered for its tragic collapse in 1967. The bridge was designed using I-bars, long rods with a hole at each end, instead of cables, a less forgiving construction choice, as failure of a single I-bar can lead to complete collapse. And that's exactly what happened. A tiny 0.1 inch deep defect in an I-bar went unnoticed under continual stress. Just when you thought it couldn't get any worse, we arrive at the grand finale of our architecturally disastrous journey. Moving to our number one spot, we'll have to travel back in time to ancient Rome, the era of gladiators and emperors. At the epitome of construction calamities, we have the Fidene Amphitheater. In 27 AD, a colossal disaster occurred. The ambitious entrepreneur, Attilius, constructed the amphitheater hastily and with disregard for safety. Instead of using a solid foundation, he opted for a wooden structure to save time and money. Tragically, during the inaugural games, the amphitheater collapsed, causing the death of over 20,000 spectators. This catastrophic event solidifies the Fidenai Amphitheater as the epitome of an architectural disaster, emphasizing the dangerous consequences of neglecting basic construction principles for the sake of expediency. And that's a wrap for today. We hope you had a blast watching this video. If so, don't forget to show some love by smashing that like button, subscribing, and leaving us a comment down below. Thanks for tuning in.